Hi, uh, Dr. Pelto here. Um, what we're going to go over today are some practice management tips for residents. And this is uh, for you if you are a podiatry resident. And these are the same lecture that I gave to the residents at here in Worcester. So take notes and write down. You don't have to write down, but you could uh, send me any other messages that you have via YouTube. Uh, and then we could do future videos on this. Uh, so um, first, we're going to talk about strategies for paying off loans. And some of the questions you have to recognize um, are how much debt do you have? Uh, so you have to determine, do you have undergraduate debt? Do you have debt uh, just from podiatry school? Do you have house debt? Do you have car debt? Keep track of the different types of, of loans and the different types of debt that you have, specifically the amount, the interest rate, and whether or not things are subsidized or some unsubsidized. Usually for undergraduate loans, they can be unsubsidized. That means there's no interest accruing and the government pays for that. I'm sorry, the subsidized ones are the government's paying for that and the unsubsidized meaning it, the, the interest is just accruing on top of things. Uh, once you have this, I usually put it into a spreadsheet um, in Excel or Google Docs, and then you can evaluate it at time. And then the interest rate or what are the rates a few techniques. The easiest one is to pay off the highest interest rate loan first. And just be aware, this might not be your student loan. When I graduated about 10 years ago from residency, my loans were at 3%. Nowadays, they're probably 4 or 5 or 6%. And those might be higher. And then I have a house, which is a little bit higher than my student loan rate. And so for me, it makes more sense to pay off the loan for the house than it is to pay off my student loan uh, first. Uh, you also want to think about investing. So it may be better if you're getting a, a better investment uh, from your money than actually doing paying off the loan. So you could invest that money versus paying off the loan. Another tip, what I did is sometimes I get a bonus and this is what I explained. You can pay off the smallest amount first to get you some momentum. I had a few loans that were maybe $5,000, $6,000 and they're just kind of sitting there paying the minimum. And so if you have a, a bonus, you can just pay off that loan, even though it's not the highest percentage rate, it just kind of gets it off the books, makes it easier. Uh, for extra money, um, at pay off the highest loan. This is what I did for the bonus. And just a, a quick thought, if you have a, a number of loans and you're used to paying 500 a month on that loan, once that loan is completed, take that same 500 and apply it to another loan. Don't just go spending it on something else. That's the way you can really make good progress to your loans. Uh, refinancing might be a, a good opportunity or an option for you, especially if you have multiple loans and the interest rates have gone down or you just want to consolidate things. But be careful because some of the, the forgiveness that you have currently, if you're unemployed or if you're underemployed or if you have health issues, that you might lose that um, in terms of uh, with loans. Some personal finance tips I, I gave to the residents. Uh, when you first finish and you're a doctor, continue to live like a resident in the first years of practice. That means if you're used to earning $50,000 to $60,000 as a resident, keep that as your budget and then take the extra money that you have and pay off your loans. Have investments uh, and also loan payments auto deducted, meaning if you're putting money into your 401k or IRA or you're paying off loans, do it automatically so you don't see it. That's another way to kind of live in, in, a, in an idea of scarcity. And that's what you'd like to do for the first few years. Uh, purchase assets and not liabilities. So what I consider assets are real estate, buying into your practice. Uh, I don't consider buying a house an asset and other things like that. So there's a, a good book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, there's the link to it. There's another good book, uh, The White Coat Investor. Has a lot of good information if you are a doctor. Uh, in terms of how to invest in investment ideas. M m what I did is I first purchased my practice, meaning as a partnership buy-in. Then we purchased the real estate, which is a condo, and then I purchased my house. That was the way I wanted to do it. So I wanted to have an asset first before I had my liability of my house. And the first house that I did buy, I bought a three family that uh, my in-laws lived above us and we had rental income for the first few years. And then finally, a few years after that, we did purchase our first single family house just to, to save money and to get that, that information there.
So that's the the end of the financials tips. We're going to go now on, on to talking about the, the job search. So I'm going to stop this and we're going to start another video talking about job search. If you found this helpful, there are a few links at the bottom of this video about the, the uh, a couple of playlists that I put together and some resources that we talked about in this video.